People have read it. What was the most NSFW event you ever stumbled upon in high school? Story one. I walked into a bathroom after a fight. Broken mirror, blood smeared on the wall and floor, water everywhere, probably unrelated to the battle, and a lot of bloody tissues in the sink. Oh, and there was a turd in the urinal. I hope that was unrelated to the fight. Story two. A freshman got jerked off by his girlfriend under the cafeteria table during lunch. Someone sitting near them noticed what was happening, took a video, and posted it online. The administration quickly found out, the video was taken down, and all three involved were suspended. Story 3. I ran cross-country in high school. Sometimes, during practice, we would run through trails in the woods surrounding the high school. One day right after school ended, we started running down the tracks and stumbled upon two students having sex. Judging by their reactions, I don't think they were expecting a group of 15 guys to run by while they were getting it on. Story 4. I walked into a bathroom after school and found a guy and girl about to go to town. She had her shirt off and skirt up. He had his pants on. I mean, I caught them just before the moment of insertion. I said nothing. I would have left them to it, except all other bathrooms on campus, except this one, were always locked shortly before the last bell. So I silently walked to a urinal, did my business, and washed my hands properly. By the time I went to leave, the girl was hiding in a stall and the guy was waiting by the door. I shrugged at the guy. The guy shrugged back. I left and heard the door lock behind me. None of us said anything or made a sound during the entire exchange. Story 5. I had the same thing in middle school. Someone made such a girthy, long, robust turd that it had braced itself end to end across the entire rim of the toilet above the water. It was incredible. It reeked. It was like God himself had wedged it there. We missed the first 10 minutes of class as every boy shuffled giddily through the boys' restroom to the big stall where that glorious shit lay. To remember it now, it was quickly three to four inches in diameter and almost a foot long. Just effing remarkable. The water was flushed away several times to demonstrate no trickery. A teacher rushed in and used a plunger to try and tap it in. It held once, twice, a third time. We were buckled with laughter. It finally broke and both pieces landed in such a way that still prevented them from going down. Story 6. I went to a small party at my friend's house. My girlfriend and I got there late. We went in and noticed nobody was in the living room. Weird. They said they would be there. Start walking to the back and I could hear several voices in the bedroom. I just opened the door and there were seven of my friends just having a casual orgy. Story 7. In middle school, the health teacher showed a video on the projector, and I guess he had porn on his video player. He offered everyone A's to keep quiet. He was fired and then went to work for a Catholic school. Story 8. I went to a boarding school during my first year of high school, and a few weeks in, I volunteered to help walk our librarian's dog for her while her leg was healing after an injury. So I was walking this huge dog through the woods around campus when he suddenly sniffed the air, ripped the leash out of my hands, and took off into the underbrush. I started chasing after him when I heard screaming and yelling. I thought, oh God, this dog mauled someone and I'm going to get expelled. I broke through a clearing. Five half-naked upper-level students were trying to put their clothes on and scatter while this dog was joyously barking and jumping up and licking them. I accidentally interrupted an orgy in the woods with my librarian's dog. Story 9. I went to the teacher's room to get some papers that my Portuguese teacher had forgotten and stumbled upon my gym and biology teachers kissing each other hard over the meeting table. I mean, they didn't even notice me. And oh, it was a Catholic school and they were both married, by the way. My face when I returned to class without the papers must have been priceless. Story 10. A girl, a freshman, went viral on Snapchat because the guy she was giving head to recorded her and said it was terrible during the recording. She's now dating and cheating on the guy we called Cherry Picker. Story 11. I go to Catholic school, and besides a teacher pedophilia scandal every year, I'm not kidding, the kid that played the Pornhub intro on the drums that are spreading around the internet happened at my school. Story 12. A security guard from my school died. He died around November last year, and when my school had the pep rally in the auditorium, every student stood up for a moment of silence for the security guard. Even though I'd never really met him, it's very security guard die young. Story 13 is unfortunate. A kid in the grade below me died from pneumonia. He was 14. Most kids found out the next day at school. Since he was in the band, they brought a grief counselor into the band homeroom to tell us. The whole room burst into tears at the same time. The school set up spaces in the library for kids to go throughout the day to talk to grief counselors. All the students in the school came together for a few days later and brought candles to his parents' house. I walked past his house on my way to school and his parents never took the candles off their front steps. 
His funeral was the same weekend as the band trip, so no band member could go. We kept a chair open for him and put a picture of him on it. It was his birthday a few days ago. He would have been 23. Story 14. We had many PCs in our school, and every computer room had a projector. So once, when the teacher was ill and no replacement came, we were in that room. Someone started the projector and quickly discovered that every porn site he tried was blocked. But playing from USB works fine. We later found out that the connections are not only allowed, but also fully monitored. So long after the movie show with sound and everything starts, the IT tech guy comes with a substitute teacher. That internet search history was enough for them to suddenly have a substitute teacher for us. Story 15. Some kid at a party got blacked out, wasted, and shat himself. In the middle of the crowd, he took his pants down, slipped in them, and proceeded to army crawl to try and make it out, but smeared it everywhere. He is still known as the party pooper. Story 16. In band, before a football game, I walked into the percussion room to hang with the homies. Everyone is huddled around this dude in the corner of the room laughing, so I walk over to check it out. The dude showed everyone how tiny his dick was, and everyone was fascinated. Yeah, it was small. Like, from the tip of your pinky to the first knuckle down. I've never seen anything like it, lol. Story 17. The football team is out practicing in their first year of high school. A senior varsity player entered the first year student's locker room, cut all the locks off our lockers, and stole our clothes. Nice enough to take wallets, phones, etc. out of the pockets and leave them in the vaults, though. The idiot didn't realize the hallway cameras had him the whole time. Most of us choose not to shower until we got home and, as a team, proceeded to leave in groups in undershirts and boxers or no shirts and boxers after getting a call. Our rides were there. Small town, small school, so ultimately he was benched for a few games and suspended for a day or two, and his parents had to buy a bunch of padlocks. Story 18. I'm in high school theater class and have been helping the teacher with many tasks, like setting up the green room and stuff. Just little helpful stuff. Well, one of us left the door unlocked and unattended for too long. In our green room were two big blue couches that were the most uncomfortable I had ever sat on. The teacher comes running into the room from the hall and says, Suddenly, tequila, I think someone is in the green room. Go with me so I can have a witness. Thinking nothing of it, I go. We stand by the door and someone is most deaf in there, making some pretty unusual sounds. I realize what the sound is half a second before the teacher throws the door open to two kids from my class getting down on that couch. I had only two seconds of view time before the teacher screamed, Good golly, Miss Molly, and slammed the door. I sat outside that door crying from laughing for about 20 minutes before they knocked on the door to be let out, realizing we had the stage wholly locked down. The look on their faces when the principal let them out and led them to the office will be forever in my mind. Can you imagine? Balls deep, about to blow, and from over your shoulder, Good golly, Miss Molly. I dream of it sometimes and still wake up laughing. 